Hello everybody and welcome to all my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fellow seekers out there. So today I woke up thinking about the relationship between science and spirituality. I know, doesn't everyone? So I thought that quite interesting to dig in a little deeper and share some thoughts with all of you in the most relaxing, comforting way, hopefully. Because I truly think that ASMR is such a perfect medium are opening up our hearts and our minds and I really hope that you enjoy and maybe even learn a little bit of something. So first off, a brief introduction to quantum physics. Now, as a quick reminder, I am definitely not an expert by any measure. I'm simply an interested novice. So with that being said, I've done a little bit of research and based on my research, I'll try to explain quite simply quantum physics. A quantum is the minimum unit of any physical entity that's involved in an interaction. Now, quantum physics or mechanics provides a scientific description for the behavior of energy and matter at the atomic and subatomic level. So, perhaps what is not as widely discussed or as easily understood is that quantum physics is actually the study of life and the universe and what makes it all like the spiritual world, the world of quantum physics cannot be seen with the naked eye. It's invisible. And to me at least, what's exciting is that it proves that matter is actually comprised of energy. 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 And that Nothing is absolute. 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 Also, what I find interesting is that there is a connection between widely accepted scientific principles and spirituality, religious traditions. You see, Every person, plant, or object is made up of tiny atoms. atoms. And at the center of every atom is a small tornado like vortex that contains other infinitely small energy vortices. Those are called quarks. Quarks, 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 and photons. Photons, photons. They are all invisible to us. And as with all energy, they do not have a mass or physical structure. So, 
every person or living thing or object is made up of energy beyond that which we can see. And we are all made of cells and atoms. So, an object that you hold in your hand does not actually exist. On an atomic level. Rather, it's an illusion of sorts. These scientific laws really defy our perceptions of reality and the universe all around us. Physicists also believe that beyond that even, there is a field of energy called the Higgs field. And that the interaction with this field is what gives atoms and other particles their physical structure. What's really significant or incredible about this scientific supposition is that we all come from one energy source. This is also a belief held by many religious and spiritual traditions which have been taught over many thousands of years. Quantum physics has proven that energy or atoms are influenced by each other without having to make physical contact. And there is, of course, a lot of energy that we cannot see. And this energy can appear out of nowhere. It can also influence the behavior of other energy. And everything is energy. So, science or quantum physics has also proven that our thoughts can actually influence physical matter. In fact, there was an experiment that was conducted with electrons. And these electrons only moved as waves when no one was watching them. Otherwise, when scientists were observing their behaviors, they acted as particles. This was the result that the scientists expected to see. And this is not a new concept. Many religious and spiritual traditions have believed in the power of thought and that our minds create our reality based on our perceptions. This is a very powerful argument for trying to identify and turn around any negative thought patterns or expectations that we might have. Furthermore, many of you have probably heard the old adage that time is merely an illusion. And you might have heard this in the context of a free-thinking hippie film or bumper sticker. But this was not born of the groovy generation. This actually came about after several different quantum physics experiments were conducted which demonstrated that time can actually function in different ways than we expect it to. Whereas we have a clear expectation of past, present, and future Researchers and scientists have found that particles did not always 
bodies behave this way. Tiny particles can exist in multiple different places at the same time, which has given rise to the multiple realities or parallel universe theory, wherein energy can be acting and interacting in many different ways at many different times. We also know that at the individual level, everyone approaches life with a different and unique perspective. It naturally follows that everyone on this planet is having a different experience. Taking it a step further, two people who are doing the exact same activity at the exact same time all else equal, will in fact experience it differently. For instance, you could switch lives with someone for a day and undoubtedly have a different life experience because you bring to that situation or circumstance very different thoughts, feelings, emotions, references, and connections, which begs the question, the million dollar question, what is real? What is true? We don't know, but one thing is for certain, we don't have all the answers. Science has proven that there's much more to our world than meets the eye. It is much more complex than we can even comprehend, and there are far more possibilities than we understand at this time. We do know that we are all energetic beings living in an energetic world. This planet, this universe, is full of energy all around us, most of which we cannot see. In fact, we have many blind spots. Our perceptions and experiences are quite limited in the grand scheme of things. So drawing inspiration from the experiments and conclusions that have been proven out time and time again using the scientific principles of quantum physics, we can experiment with the power of our own energies and thoughts. It's more than likely that we are able to shape the world around us and within us using our thoughts and energy. Similarly, our lifetime as we know it may not be as linear or finite as previously thought. So what can we make of all of this? Well, I think it's encouraging and that we should be open-minded to different healing modalities based on energetic work as well as spiritual perspectives. And perhaps we are all far more interconnected than we previously thought or understood or even feel on a daily basis. Maybe our thoughts and actions every minute of every day have great significance and impact 
upon everyone and everything around us. Think that there is a place for science, scientific study, as well as spirituality and religious practices, that they can complement one another. Also that life appears to be a wonderful, complex mystery that is always worth seeking. And with that in mind, I'm sending out to you lots of love and positive, uplifting energy. As always, thank you so much for sharing this time and experience to connecting with you again soon and until then keep seeking, seeking, seeking. you never know what you might